Okay. Hello, everyone. I see you already got a few people here. No worries. Thank you for coming to my meet and greet. Here you'll be able to ask me questions of what you guys would like to know about me and my work. Or not. Hmm? What is going on? Um, uh, hello. Yeah, what is going on? Hello. Yeah, welcome to my meet and greet. Uh, uh, my check. Hello, Shadow Ash. Welcome. Welcome to my meet and greet. If you have anything you want to ask, you can, I can bring up here and you can ask your question if you want. Uh, okay, you can type it then. Go ahead and type your question then. Okay, outside the protectors is my channel name. It consists of multiple characters that are normally voiced by myself and ones that are voiced by the other members of my crew. I voice Omega, General, Omochao, Silver. I voice a lot of characters on my channel, but the other ones are voiced like Shadow, Rouge, and Zero, aka Infinite the Jackal. They are voiced by my other friends, one of them having to be my girlfriend who voices Rouge. I also voice Gadget on the channel as well. Hopefully that answers your question there. Hello, Peter, and... Uh, yeah, and parties. Alright, if you guys got any questions, if you can, I can bring you up, or if you don't have a mic, you can type it in the text chat. I normally voice for my own projects, though I am in a uh, comic book project known as Sonic Counterpart. I play as one of the OC robots that the person made. I, if I remember correctly, yeah. remember correctly, their name was Mooncake. They are the ones who created the comic themselves. They put in a lot of hard work with along with the voice actors who are a part of it. Honestly, I still have a lot of fun voicing the robots. Anyone else would like to ask a question? <laughs> Peter and Party, would you guys like to ask a question? You can type it, or I can bring you up. Uh, All right, come on up. Hello. So what's so what's your question? Uh, I would like to ask what besides Sonic, what inspired you to do voice acting? Yeah, aside from Sonic, yeah, my friends. Like one of the biggest inspirations that actually helped me and like become a voice actor, besides the ones here in Revo, were two content creators known as Darkbox and Jules AF. They both play Sonic and Shadow. Those two have been the big inspiration for me to actually, you know, get into voice acting. Even to this day, I'm grateful to them for helping me actually get this far where I'm at now. Oh, that, that's great. I know who Darkbox is. He, may, he makes good, good comics and stuff. Yep. He will be back for more content. I'll be working along with him again on that. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. No problem. I will send you back to the audience. All right. Let's see. Any other questions? Hmm? Uh, anyone else have, have any questions? Peter, you want to ask a question? All right. Let's see. Mm, I've been voice acting since 2019. Though back then I had a not really good mic. But up till now, I have been using a good microphone to help me out with my voice work. It's not a day where I'm keep... It's not a day where I keep practicing my vo own voice. <laughs> not with just the ones that are a little more easier, like Omochao or Omega or Gemro. I try to work on other voices, like ones that are not even in my range. For instance, you know, Tails, for example, or Sonic. In my recent comic that I released earlier today, I voiced Tails. I felt like I did a good job, but I know that I could still work on it a bit more. But as long as people are able to enjoy it, that makes me happy. Hopefully that answers your question there, Shadow Ash. Anyone else have any questions? If you guys want to say it up on the stage, I can bring you up. If you guys aren't able to talk on stage, you guys can type it out. Let's see. Let me take the text chat. All right, Peter. Is there We're typing? Alright, I would say the one that's most difficult to voice would have to be Omega. That one I still need to put more work into, along with Silver. And also, hello, Cam. So what is your question, Cam? Oh. 
Discord, everyone. Hang on. Oh, uh, hi. I actually didn't expect myself to um, raise. I, I don't I didn't know if I raised my hand or not. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard. Uh, if you have a question, you're welcome to ask. I, 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 uh, I don't really have a question, but um, I was going to let you know in DMs uh, if you needed a, a voice actor for your uh, comic dance, then you can let me know. All right. I'm always well, happy to let you know. Yeah, I'll be happy to let you know. I'm always looking for more VAs when it comes to some of the comic dubs I got planned. I'll definitely let you know. Thanks so much. No problem. I'll move you back into the audience. All right. Thanks. All right. And you're fine, parties. If you guys got any more questions, you guys can think of one. If you guys want to ask your again, if you guys want to ask your questions up here, you can do so by raising your hand, and I can bring you up. Hello, Mr. Scoot. Let's see. Or I'm keeping an eye on the chat. Um, uh, you can send me a voice demo of your tales, but I can't have you like say it up here on stage. But yeah, feel free to send me your demo. I'll, I'll definitely let you know in DMs. Ooh, honestly, I have a lot of characters I enjoy voicing, Gadget being one of them. But the one I really have fun voicing is Omo Chow. The way I do Omo Chow on my own self. He's crazy in the funny way. Out looking for revenge on those who pretty much bullied him in Sonic Adventure 2. And I know you guys played through that and you like to chuck him around. <laughs> so think of him as, you know, the one that one Omo Chow who remembers. Who remembers. Yeah, what the players done to him. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Ooh. And we already got a few people having their hands up. All right, how about we bring up you, Mr. Scoot, and then you, Bolt. Come on up. Hello. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, Hi. I was in the other panels. Here's the thing. When I was in the other panels, the, like, thing kept on, like, my mic wasn't working the first time, and then now the, now I hopped on on here, it worked for the first time, so it's a miracle. That's good to know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, so I don't mind you bring up Bolt too. I don't mind. Um, it's one person at a time. If you have oh. a question, you can ask it here. I can bring you back up if you and need to think of your question. Okay. So anyway, right. it's nice to meet you. By the way, nice to meet you too. Hope you're so enjoying the rebel. Mm hmm. I hope you're enjoying the rebel. I am. It's very fine. That's good. So, so I do have a question. All right. So, in terms of like voice acting, how do you like get into character? Like, do you do warm ups or do you just like prepare yourself for it? It's actually both. I try to do warm ups so I can get myself prepped up, and then try to do some warm up, and then like warm ups, like depending on which character I'm doing. As I've mentioned and to the others, I will mention to you. Like, I voice a lot of characters on my channel, aside from the ones that I have casted for on the channel. Like, mm -hmm. when it comes to the characters like Gadget, I gotta really get the voice ready, like, switch it down to a lower voice to actually sound a little younger. Like oh, this. Okay. And I even had to do the same when it comes to Omo Child to give it that little squeaky voice. They actually make it sound more robotic and more younger, if you get what I mean. Mm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's painful sometimes, especially when trying to do like some voices I've never done before. Like, for instance, like Sonic or Werehog Sonic. I do like your gadget voice. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I hope that answers your question there. It does. All right. Thank All you. Right. No problem. Uh, we'll, we'll be back. All right, Bolt, you had your hand raised as well. Come on up. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. So what's your question? So I was actually wondering, like, who is your favorite Sonic character and why? Honestly, I'd say that to every single person, Team Triple S. It's hard to choose between the three. And why choose just one of them? 
We didn't get to have three of them. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Sonic, Shadow, and Silver will always be awesome. They're all the coolest. Yeah, Silver is my personal favorite. <laughs> well, I hope that answered your question there. It did. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, before I bring you up, I'm a day it. Uh, looks like you're having Discord issues before. I was about to say before I bring up all the days. I'll answer your question there, parties. I have not tried out the recipes yet. Definitely want to try them out. There's so many different recipes that I can try. They're all good. <laughs> it's funny how they actually made one that is literally titled Knuckle Sandwich. <laughs> uh, hilarious. I think everyone's having Discord issues. I'm open, open for some more questions. Yeah. Ooh. Honestly, there's a lot of voice actors I would love to actually yeah, collab with in a project, but I want to actually, you know, yeah, get better at doing voice work before I can actually, you know, move up to doing major voice work. This, like what my good bro Josh Hodgson does with Freggy and with Sonic and the Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles show. As well as so many other amazing voice actors like Sydney, Andrew, and so many others. I want to improve myself first before I actually try aiming for something big. As much as I would love to. But I want to actually, you know, show that I can actually be worthy of it. As even I know myself have flaws in my voice work and still needs work. Alright. Let's bring you up, Peter. Hey. Uh, well, good morning. I uh, hope you're doing well, man. I am doing all right. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I just woke up this morning. Mm-hmm. I can tell. <laughs> I want to wake up seven o'clock, but you know all the others, but I couldn't wake up at all. <laughs> <laughs> know that feeling all too well. Pardon? I know that feeling all too well. There are times when I end up like trying to wake myself up, but I end up falling back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Because you guys started, like, the grand opening at four in the morning here, so. Sorry about that. No, don't worry. That's how it is. You know, time zones, so you can't do much. That is so true. And anyways. Yeah. Anyways, I was going to say, um, who is the hardest uh, voice act that you've ever done in, um, what you call it? What's the hardest vo- voice acting you've done? Mm. That wasn't easy. Aside from Sonic and the Warehog Sonic as well as Tails, I would say, as well as Omega, I would have to say back then when I was actually like having to add more characters to the channel, like starting off with Team Dark, I actually, I kid you not, I had voice both Shadow and Rouge on my channel before I had them casted uh, with other people to play the characters themselves. Really? Shadow and was, Rouge were the hardest. Yes. Yes. I literally, like, it's hard to actually, you know, really get the whole feminine voice in there. As well as Shadow with the whole, you know, I'm edgy and whatnot. Uh-huh. So, back then, I also had a, a, a habit of actually saying seriously all the time in my own recordings. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. I was, yeah. Because back then, everything was like low-quality microphones and all that back in like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Back then, I even recorded on my phone, so... Yeah. Oh, fair oh, enough. My. Yeah. Back, times have changed a lot over the years, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm 24 and I saw like everything, how everything has changed in technology. I'm 33 and I still sound like I'm in my teens. I see. Yeah, I'm 24. Going to be turning 25 in about a month and a half on 7th of December, so... Well, happy early birthday to you, my friend. Well, thank you in advance. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no, you know what? It's really nice to um, actually, you know, finally meet you around this time, so... Mm Mm-hmm. Likewise. Yeah. I had your friend, but we barely had the chance to even talk. We barely had any talk, mate. You know, it's, exactly. it's been such a long time. Mm, you've been busy. I I've been busy. Too, want to become a voice actor or someday, but I didn't know how to start or where to go through. 
because I know I had a um a funny uh, I don't know if you've heard but with Nays when he did the with uh, when he did Fangs, I mean Fangs mm-hmm. was just like complete like doing character because we we were just doing it really well. Mm-hmm. It was funny, but it's fun working with Nades, especially having him as Fang in, in some of my comics. He does oh, a yeah. really amazing job. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. Like I said, um, he he should be like a. To be honest, he's like a good teacher because he said to it because. Yesterday he was, you know, when he was playing, um, what you call Fang, he's like, oh, look at Peter. He says, send me. So see, as I put my hand, they're like, did you call me up? That. I remember that. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. <laughs> yeah, you had I was that, not expecting that script or anything, but you know what? I just played along. That's all I did. Oh, that's improv for you. Not everything is scripted. Mm-hmm. That's improv for you. Not everything is scripted. <laughs> Exactly, but I played along. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing you played along. Yeah, yeah that's my first time doing, so. having an experience, like, interacting with a character. Like, to me, I'll never forget this moment of um, doing something like that. Like, that was really cool. That's good to hear. Yeah, I want to do something like that in the future or well, learn it from someone to do voice acting. Because I've got a professional mic- a USB microphone at home. So hey, I say go for it. You just keep Thanks. pushing forward to your goal. If you want to become a Thank voice you. actor, work hard, work on the voice that you want to do, perfected, mm. and then show off for your work. Exactly. I mean, Cindy gave a very good advice yesterday. She was saying, like, um, you know, if you want to be a voice actor, go to class and then find an agent and then like um, you know. To do all those steps, like she gave really good good advice yesterday to everyone. Mm-hmm. Cindy will, as well as so many other voice actors like Mike, Ryan, Jason, as well as Julia White, as well as you know, Roger. They're all amazing voice actors. They're a big oh, inspiration yeah. to everyone. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure. I mean, um, they got the inspirations like mostly from Mel Blank. Most of these people. You know who mm-hmm. Mel Blank is, right? Yep. He's a legend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, I hope that answered your question there. Yes, of course it did. It was lovely um, to talk a bit too. Like, Likewise. Honestly. Definitely got to talk more with you later. Sorry? I said we definitely got to talk more later. Yeah, we need to. We, we mm-hmm. really need to, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Right. I'm going to be back. Sure. All right. I uh, saw so your question there, parties. Which Sonic do you uh, do you voice? No, sorry. Which Sonic voice do you like the most? Ooh. It's hard to choose between Julia White, Jason, Ryan, as well as Roger, heck, even Devin Mac. Honestly, it's hard to choose between all of them. But if I would have to choose, I would have to say it's actually two, actually. I would have to say Devin Max and Roger's uh, Sonic voice. They both put in a lot of energy when it comes to the character, especially Devin Mac and Sonic Prime. Uh, it's hearing their work is amazing. Looking forward to season three to see how well he does in that one. But things getting more serious, especially with nine. If you guys seen it, uh, if you're not, I won't spoil anything. If you guys have not seen, yeah, season two. Anyways, if you guys got any more questions, feel free to ask. Mm. Honestly, I remember something that a friend of mine, Zarkbox, who also helped me with voice directions as well, as well as a few other friends. It's hard to remember what they said. I do about and do about it is if I can't remember. I know one thing for sure, in my opinion. Definitely try to put in the emotion of the character. Like when you know, the character you're trying to voice. Put in a lot of emotion into it to actually be the character that you want to voice. Be the character you want to be. Like, for instance, when it came to Gadget, I was literally the only person who actually gave him, like, a voice back then. As far as I know, it was kind of difficult to actually try to figure out the voice that I had for you know, that I would have for Gadget. Back then, I had given him, like, a deeper voice. But after some voice directions when it came to my friend Darkbox, 
he helped me actually perfect a actual voice for the character because he's still young. It is the voice right here. I have a lot of fun voicing this character. If you guys got any more questions, you can type it down in the Chaos Stage chat. If you guys want me to bring it up, I can. That way you can voice your question. And I see you typing Gary Shadow Ash. Mm, so far, none. I haven't been... Well, actually, there is one non-Sonic project. Well, actually, a few of them. Yeah, I deal with a friend of mine in his uh, projects. Like, we do Dragon Ball, Spider-Man, My Hero. And I voice my own character that I created in that series. It's over on a different channel. And it's also run by my friend, Darkbox. Anyways, I hope that answered your question there, Shadow Ash. You good? Like I said, yeah, the person who helped me, well, inspired me to actually do, well, two people who inspired me to do voice acting was yeah, Jules AF, also known as Shadow the Hedgehog, as well as Darkbox, who also goes by Speedy Blue. Those who inspired me to actually push forward onto my channel to actually, you know, do voice work and upload onto my channel. Back then, I didn't really do any content on the channel until they put and gave me that push to actually do so. I started out with just the OC Chris the Hedgehog. Not related to Sonic himself, but a completely different character that was from another thing that and that's outside of the Sonic universe and whatnot. <sighs> like I said, uh, Shadow Ash. Yeah, Team Triple H is my favorite team yeah, Sonic characters. Sonic Shadow and Silver is my all time favorite. Hard to choose between the three. That's why I choose all three of them. That's why I enjoy trying to voice them, though I won't try to voice Shadow anymore. Yeah, just my voice, and yeah, I wouldn't be able to actually do the character. Especially if I'm going to end up going back into the habit of saying seriously in every single video I do. Well, I do have more comic dubs coming up soon with the group that I have. Yeah, I'm still in the works of editing one of them right now. Big one is another like one-shot annual comic from IDW, which is the Team Sonic Racing uh, comic dub, as well as like yeah, some of the other ones that. Well, I can actually tell you this one. I am currently in the works of preparing for the upcoming. Yeah, another like holiday special, which is the Sonic Winter Jam. Already have that one fully casted out, and once the comic is out, I will be it will be getting into getting all the lines in, and then I'll be doing the editing for it. If you guys have seen the channel, I have posted one of my recent comic dubs that I released, which was the 900 Adventure comic. That one took me about a couple weeks since the release of the. Oh, maybe not a couple weeks. Like a month and a couple of weeks to get it done. Having to wait on the lines, editing it all done, then adding all the sound effects and everything. You guys got any more questions you can ask? <clears throat> I definitely want to. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to work hard to actually improve my voice so I can actually try going for big projects like on casting call. In some ways, I kind of already did, even though it's not like a main role, but it's actually like playing a robot in the Project Sonic Counterpart, which I still enjoy doing. I'll be looking forward to actually getting back to and doing the voice work for that as one of the robot OCs for it. <sighs> Any more questions? We still got plenty of time. All right. Go for it. See, definitely. That character was Tails. Like I said, Tails was a character I have never done before, especially with his voice range. I would have to actually try to go lower than what I have for the voice I have for Gadget. But in my, in my comic dub that I release, I show that I can I can do it as long as I actually push myself to do it. And that goes for Sonic as well, especially with how energetic he is. And I'll be taking in a few more questions. I guess I do have a panel I gotta help yeah, prep up for. Well, as a matter of fact, I actually got 
on my channel, I have a series called Uncalled Ask the Chaos Protectors. I've actually got to have Mike Pollock on as a special guest. Getting to talk to him, ask some questions and everything. As well as like being able to meet the voice actors like Pete Capella, Jason Griffin, and Jason Griffith, as well as Ryan Drummond over at the in-person convention. No problem, parties. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, there's still some voice actors I would still love to be able to meet. Like, for instance, Roger Craig Smith or even Julia White. I would love to be able to meet them. It's all good, but I do have to probably end it here, guys, because I do have another panel coming up that I gotta help and prep up for. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm thank you for asking your questions. Really appreciate it. But yeah, make sure to look out for Emmy Jones's panel that is coming up. Hope you guys will enjoy it, and make sure you got your questions ready for her. So then, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the panel. Well, rest of Evan Revel.